I forgot to record myself drinking this, but bye. So today, we're gonna be doing chess. Try not to do this on a Monday because it's International Chess Day and you're gonna be waiting for a very long time for a bench. So to demonstrate the bench press, I'll have my good friend, probably he's gonna be my bad friend now, Joseph to do it. I haven't used that name, right? I don't think so. So let's see it. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. So, a lot of people have problems with with benching either with their elbows or their shoulders. And for someone that's new, you can easily get injured doing bench if your form isn't correct. So very basic shit. You want to sit, you don't want to sit like flat footed. You want to sit kind of like pigeon toed like this. Um, when you lay down, you want your eye level to be about where the bar is. So your eyes should be lined up with the bar. Your eyes are lined up with the bar. Your feet are like pigeon toed. And you, you arch your back. You see, I know you see a lot of videos where people are like this. You don't want to do that shit. Your ass is on the bench. Your ass is on the bench. And your knees are bent and your pigeon toed. And that's pretty much it for how your body should be laying. And you kind of just, you, you want to bench it in a very slow controlled movement. You don't want to kind of like do this. You just want to like make sure you feel the contraction. And also, everyone has a different structure. So your grip placement on the bar is very important. Um, if you're too close, you'll have more of a tricep workout than a chest workout. And if you're too far, that's when you'll have shoulder issues. Also, if you're too close, you might have elbow issues. So what works for me is to, this bar is not good. So you want to have your thumb where the where the knurling starts here. So you use your thumb where it starts and then you close your fist. Uh, that's a pretty good grip. That should fit most of your most of your structure just like that. And when you bench, here let me show you again. Well, so when you're doing flat, when you're doing flat bench, the bar comes down to like below your nipples, like right here. You don't want to be too high. It'll just put more stress on your shoulder or elbow. So, you'll come down right here. This is a little too high. Here is optimal. And you just lift it in a controlled movement. It's hard to do chest day after shoulder day, so you want a good recovery period between those two, because if you hit your shoulders too hard, well, usually with presses, because it's about the same movement, um, you want to make sure your shoulders are fresh, because if you don't, you won't be able to hit your chest as optimally as you can. And typically you want to do, just like with every other muscle group, you want to do about four to, four to five sets and eight to 12 reps. For chest, you want to do flat incline and decline and some flies. Real basic, nothing too crazy. Uh, your grip stays the same for every exercise and your feet placement stays the same. The only thing that changes is where the bar comes down on your chest. So for incline, the bar will come down across the top of your chest rather than the bottom. So I'll show you. So see that the bar is le eye level, just as flat. I'm getting my grip in order. 
same grip, grip uh, length, just like flat, and my feet. I mean, with incline, they have this little foot shit, but I prefer this. You get a better balance here. Don't look at this. You get a better balance here. <laughs> so, and I'll show you the difference now. So the bar comes on the upper part of your chest. And that's really the only difference between um, flat and incline. And now I'll show you how you should not press this. You should not press this like this. <laughs> Alright, now decline. It's the same shit again. The only difference, this is just like flat really. Uh, your grip is the same. Where you come down on your chest is the same. The only difference is your feet are are not planted. But it's just like flat. I mean, you can't really just get your feet in this shit. Don't hit your head. The shit always happens. Make sure your grip is good. Using your thumbs. And you come up, bottom of your chest, just like flat, and then press it, and that's it. So next is cable flies. Uh, I'm gonna try to let my friend show you. His name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Uh, all right, let's see it. Next thing we're gonna do is flies. Uh, you can move these higher, middle, lower. They all target different parts of your chest. You don't really have to worry about that as a beginner. I would say just keep it at a like a pretty high elevation. And pretty much you just pull it towards you. You don't want to like have your elbows all the way out like that and do that, that that hurts and that'll fuck up your shoulder and your elbow so you keep your elbows bent always I like to switch my feet just cuz so I'll start with like my left leg forward I'll do half of my reps I usually do like six and you pretty much just you don't want to cross over like this uh, you pretty much just meet, have your hands meet here. So you keep your elbows bent, have your hands meet. But you make sure you focus on, on it contracting. Don't just like do movements. Like if you don't feel it in your chest, fix your posture. And so you keep your, your chest out, your shoulders, your, your back straight. And you just have your hands meet. And then because I'm weird, I'll switch legs and then do the same shit. On top of just the regular barbell bench, you can... What I like to do is switch from barbell one week to dumbbells another week, just so I don't get like accustomed to the same movements. So I'll show you how to do dumbbells. See, so you're gonna start here. You have your chest out, your back straight. Uh, if you're doing flat like I am now, you might be like, uh, "How do I get? How do I get these dumbbells on me?" It's real easy. It might take some practice. So you're gonna come up with your knees. So you're gonna do this. You ready? See how easy that was? And you just press. When you press, you don't want to be too far out. You're going to fuck yourself up. You're going to be like right here. The dumbbell should be about shoulder level. And then you just come up smoothly. Just like that. So now we're going to do incline for dumbbells. I like to use a 30 degree angle. Some people like to use a 45. 
I think that you get a better... I think at 45, there's too much shoulder in the movement. But at 30, you get more chest in the movement. That's my preference. What the fuck do I know? So we're gonna do 30, because that's what I like to do. So it's just like a flat dumbbell, except to get it up, you're gonna do one leg at a time rather than both of them up. So you're gonna push up with this leg, and as you're pushing up, you're gonna bring it up to your chest. I will show you. you do this. You, so you want to have your back arched, your chest out, and you just press. Same deal, just like the flat. You don't want to be like out here, so you fuck yourself up. Your hands want to be about shoulder, around the range of your shoulder, a little outside. And you just press. And that's it. And if you have no one in the gym, you just throw the dumbbells. So for decline dumbbell, you want to have this at the lowest setting you can. This one doesn't go very low, but if yours can go lower than that, fucking do it. Now, if, optimally, if you have someone, it would be optimal if someone loaded these dumbbells on you. But if you don't have anyone, I'll show you how to kind of I mean, it's gonna be really difficult once you get to like the 110s. But it, I'll show you how to do it without anyone. So this right here is the hard part. Just getting in here. Ugh. You get in here, put your dumbbells up, come back, sit down first to get your feet in good placement and just lean back. And that's it. It's just like a flat and incline. Uh, shoulders are in, or hands are about shoulder width, and you press. And that's it. So if you follow that program, about three to six months, you should have some big old titties. And in three to six months, I'll have my more advanced videos out so your titties could get even bigger. And this is one of my shirts, very amazing. The best, you can, you can buy it, you can click like right here, or you can click like right here. And I'll see you next week.